does the tap water that you wash your hair with impact the hair follicles and potentially lead to hair loss? Well, in this video, we're going to be looking at hard water and how hard water impacts the hair follicles and what exactly you can do about it. So guys, before we get into the video, if you're worried about your own hair loss, what you can do is you can click the link in the description and our hair guard specialist will give you a full analysis of your hair. All you've got to do is simply click the link in the description and then upload a hair selfie. So what you're going to learn about today in this video is we're first going to look at what hard water is, then we're going to look at how to know if you're using hard water, then we're going to talk about some of the consequences of using hard water on the hair. Then we're going to have a look at calcium deposits contribute contribution to hair loss. Then finally, we're going to talk about how you can stop hard water from ruining your hair. Now, first, what we're going to do is we're going to clear the concept of hard water before answering the question of whether or not it causes hair loss. First, like not all water is defined as hard and you should understand this before you jump to any conclusions. So let's have a look at what hard water is. Let's first clear the concept of hard water. Not all water is defined as hard. Hard water is the opposite of soft water, which by its definition is surface water with lower concentrations of ions such as calcium and magnesium. On the other hand, hard water has a high mineral content. The water itself is formed when water droplets percolate through mineral deposits such as limestone and chalk. Due to this process, hard water has a high concentration of calcium and magnesium. In nature, the distinction can be easy. Soft water is generally surface water such as rainfall, and hard water is the collection of water deep beneath the ground. This is, to, this is important to understand because your home's tap water tends to be pumped from underground. So is all of the water we use at home hard? Nope. That is not the case, as different regions have different ways of collecting the water and distributing it, meaning that your water might not be classified as hard. Indeed, the key to understanding if water is hard, and more importantly, understanding the effects on your hair, is down to the concentration of the minerals in the water. By measuring the mineral concentration, you can tell how hard and therefore harmful water is to use. According to the Water Quality Association, water becomes classified as slightly hard when the concentration of grains per gallon reaches 1.0 to 3.5. Water becomes hard when the grains per gallon stands between 7.0 and 10.5. Anything above 10.5 is very hard. So they're like the three classifications of hard water. So you're probably wondering, how do I know if I'm using hard water? You can generally check the exact measurements of minerals in your water and the classification of your water with your water supplier. Your local, council, your local council should also be able to provide you with this information. If they don't know, you can ask the water be, to be tested or you can order a kit online to test it yourself. You can also have a look on these maps uh, which are available on Google. You can just type in UK map and uh, water hardness or alternatively you can do the same for your country wherever you are in the world. And then it's going to give you some kind of indication of what your water is like this. And then the same is there's a similar map here for America as well. So what are the consequences of using hard water on hair? The high concentration of minerals and oxidizers can be harmful to your hair health. These minerals cause the scales in your hair to stand up, creating a rough and tangled feel and look. As the hair becomes rougher, it can further cause the different minerals to stick to, to the hair together with your shampoo's ingredients. The mineral buildup and increased oxidation will cause your hair to break, which then can lead to hair loss. There are also theories that point to the problem of negatively charged hard water and positively charged hair to cause a bad reaction that damages hair. That, however, research is not conclusive and is not scientifically possible yet to claim hard water causes hair loss. But this doesn't mean that it doesn't have an impact on your hair health or that there's no connection with the two. Scientists do agree that hard water, due to its high concentration of minerals, does cause the hair to feel different. So do calcium deposits contribute to hair loss? Hard water is essentially calcium carbonate and when this calcium comes into contact with your hair and scalp, this can lead to calcification, 
which researchers have shown can cause hair loss. Calcification can start to restrict blood flow to the hair follicles and cause inflammation in the scalp. These are two things that lead to the destruction of hair follicles. Because of this, we recommend using magnesium oil in your own homemade shampoo to counteract the effects of the calcium deposits. So, how can you stop hard water from ruining your hair? What are the measures you can take to prevent the damage? There are essentially three ways to counter the harmful effects of hard water on your hair. First, you can soften your water by installing a filter to your water system. Water softener machines are available for most homes and they can be installed to ensure all the water that comes out of your taps is softened to limit the mineral concentration in the water. The machines are not the cheapest solution and they can be difficult to install. The easier solution is to opt for shower filters that you can just attach to your shower head. These are not as powerful but can be a quick solution, especially if you are just renting an apartment. Your other option is to use natural remedies as part of your hair washing ritual. If you mix a tablespoon of white vinegar with three cups of water, you get a softer solution for rinsing your hair. Another alternative rinsing method is adding lemon or lime to your water and using it to treat your scalp. The mixture will help break down the residu residual salts and minerals that might be left over from shampooing. Remember that you shouldn't leave the lemon or lime on to rinse your hair, but you need to rinse it off. Since you can't use normal water to do it, you can do a quick rinse with bottled water. Washing your hair with mineral or spring water works, although it probably isn't the cheapest of solutions. Finally, you can find shampoos and conditioners that limit the damage of hard water. Shampoos with chelating or clarifying qualities, especially with the ingredient EDTA, can be good for preventing mineral buildup in your hair. However, the shampoo is rather harsh, so you don't want to use it more than once a week. You should also always use conditioner after washing with the shampoo. The best option is to make your shampoos at home using apple cider vinegar as the base ingredient. Also, argan oil is a great moisturizing ingredient. You can also rub coconut oil into your hair after washing it. The special shampoos and conditioners aren't the cheapest, so browse hotukcavings.co.uk for discounts on these products. You may also want to consider supplementing with a good source of magnesium, which will help to balance the excess calcium on the scalp, and we suggest magnesium orotate. Now, when it comes to your hair loss, you don't want to take unnecessary chances. While the evidence is not quite there to blame hard water, there's enough to realize that it does have an impact and not a positive one. As the video has shown, it's also not that difficult to combat the effects of hard water. You just need to take out your wallet and pick affordable solutions to counter the effects. So guys, that's what we've got for you today on hard water. If you're worried about your own hair loss, don't forget to click the link in the description and you can get your free hair guard analysis. And if you've not already hit subscribe, please make sure to hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.